Hello, my dear Pisces. Welcome to your July. I almost said January. <laughs> July 10th through the 12th reading. I hope that you're doing amazing, utterly fantastic, all that good stuff. I have already shuffled your cards. Hopefully we'll, we will get something good. Spirit had me stop. They made my eyes flutter while I was pre-shuffling. So hopefully it will be wonderful. And we shall see. Let's go ahead and let's split this deck for you. Welcome back subscribers, VIP members, all that good stuff. Super happy to have you here as always. Thank you so very much. Those of you that have not yet subscribed, would love for you to subscribe to this channel. It would make me oh so very happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we're gonna get rolling. You have the Temperance card, the Strength card, the Nine, oh, I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands. I don't know why I thought that was the Nine. The moon, la luna, the six of swords, and the lovers. The three of wands is your challenge. Your outcome is the ten of cups. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck, the energy is the five of wands. Five of Wands. I feel like the Five of Wands is an internal struggle for the two of you. Because what I'm seeing is internal struggle on both sides. Ultimately, and I think I'm talking to Deb too much because I'm starting to develop a different accent every once in a while. <laughs> so Debbie, I picked up your accent. <laughs> so with the Ten of Cups here, the Ten of Cups shows me that there's a ton of love between you and this person. Love, 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 right? But you're both like really in this internal conflict. So if you're in internal conflict, it could be that something has happened between the two of you in the past. If it's not internal conflict, then the two of you are bickering and fighting and that needs to stop. Bickering and fighting. I don't see bickering and fighting in these cards. I see internal conflict. But for those of you that are dealing with argumentative energy between you and your loved one, I see that's gonna be resolved. Your mutual challenge is the three of wands. Could be waiting, waiting for the other one to take, to take some sort of action, waiting for the other to make some sort of move, waiting for the other to take the lead waiting. Uh, it could be that the two of you are at a distance as well with the three of wands if it's long distance. Um, the three of wands could be that somebody's waiting for some sort of, you know, great movement in their life before the two of you move towards one another. Now, Pisces, you have the temperance card, the ace of wands, and the six of swords. You may be under a great deal of stress and strain with this temperance card. Ultimately, what I'm seeing is that you have a desire to reconcile with your person with this particular card. And it looks like spirit is behind that. Spirit is saying, you know what? There's a lot of love here between the two of you. Resolve anything that has been bothering you, that's been causing you a sense of stress, that's been causing you a sense of worry. Release it, Pisces, let it go. Be patient with your person if you're waiting on them. Be patient, Pisces. There's a wait, but be patient. I have not done this with any of the previous signs, but they're guiding me towards our um, baby rider weights. I love to use as clarifying cards. So we'll see why they're drawing me over here, Pisces. Okay. Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands here. Be patient, Pisces, because that that new beginning that you're desiring, this passionate new beginning that you're desiring with your person is on the way. It's just on delay. <laughs> it's on delay. It's on delay. OK. 
Okay. We have the Sun, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. The Sun, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. All right. So if you've been waiting for a new beginning with your person, Pisces, which I see is your desire here, it could be with this Ace of Wands, you may have a very strong, passionate desire for your person. You may have strong sexual chemistry with your person and you want to connect on a physical level. That is possible. Now, the Ace of Wands is a desire for a passionate new restart. It doesn't necessarily always mean physical, but a passionate new restart. A desire for the two of you to get down to business. <laughs> but with the Six of Swords, there's an energy of you needing to let go of something that has happened in the past. Don't take these swords with you, Pisces. If you're letting go of something that happened between the two of you in the past, this internal energy, this internal struggle, if you're letting go of something that happened between the two of you in the past, do not take it with you and bring it up again. This particular Six of Swords, they're taking the swords with them to guard their heart. No, no, no. No, no, no. It doesn't matter what somebody did in the past. It only matters what's happening here and moving towards the future, right? So release any expectations of the future. Release any hurt and wounds from the past. Because holding on to something that somebody did in the past is not going to bring you love in the present or the future. You must process, you must release, you must let it go. We have a car alarm going off. Hopefully not my car. <laughs> I may have to check in a minute. Okay, so we have the strength card, the moon, and the lovers on your person's side. Oh my, my, Pisces. What a reading. Your person is finding the strength to overcome any internal struggles. And they feel a sense of peace with you. You settle their energy and bring them peace. The moon they have no idea what's going to happen in the future. They may be a little bit confused about how you feel about them. They may be confused about what to do. They may be confused about, you know, what it is that they want. They may be confused about how to overcome something that happened between the two of you in the past. But by golly, look at how they view the connection. They view the connection with this strong sense of connection, this strong sense of physical desire, just like you have Pisces, right? They may be fantasizing about you. They may want to embrace you. They may want to hold you. They may just want to be in your presence with this particular lover's card. It's so much different than our typical lover's card. We see two people that cannot bear to be apart in this card that they find peace and comfort together they desire that sense of physical togetherness and we see that here with the sun they are, find happiness with you with the page of cups they want to express that to you with the ace of cups they want a passionate new restart but for them they desire the emotional connection they desire the physical connection as well but they know there needs to be some sort of expression of emotion between the two of you because they, you guys have been on some sort of delay and you guys have been on some sort of internal struggle where is it going pisces ten of cups ultimate love peace harmony and happiness ultimate love peace harmony and happiness This is on both sides. This is not, this is not one sided. This is your outcome. Your outcome is ultimate love, peace, harmony, and happiness. Your outcome is the two of you experiencing both the emotional love and the physical connection of that love. 
the two of you recognizing that you are each other's home. If you are apart from this person and you are missing this person, you're feeling homesick, you're feeling homesick for this person. If they're feeling that way, they're feeling homesick for you. There's a strong desire to be together. Palace of Swords on the bottom. There may be a lot of communication going back and forth between you. The sun in the reverse. There's something they're not clear about. The sun just popped out in the reverse. There's something they're not clear about. And they need that sense of clarity. We've got the Three of Coins, the Queen of Coins, and the Page of Swords. Something associated with their future, something associated with their stability. Maybe they don't know how to give to this connection. Maybe they don't know how the two of you are gonna work together. Maybe they just don't know what's gonna happen in the future, and therefore this, this is leaving them feeling a little bit unsettled. Um, I do feel with this Page of Swords, there is gonna be some communication that helps to bring enlightenment to them regarding how this connection is going to work going forward. Um, so it looks really fantastic. Love, Pisces. <laughs> you got the love between the two of you. So I'm going to leave it there. It looks beautiful. All right, Pisces, I'll see you for the 13th to the 15th in another day or two. Until then, enjoy this beautiful energy. Know that it's on the way. The energy can extend for about a week beyond the time of this reading, or if you're ever drawn back to it at a later date, it could be your reading then. All right, my dear Pisces, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy Kiss Kiss. I'll see you soon. Bye.